All right, everybody. Welcome on in. I'm Tim from Grow Louder, and today we are going to make our wood bead bracelet. So we're going to start off with a couple of tools that we're going to need, a couple of pliers. Uh, Pre-cut this, but this is eight inches of one millimeter love, uh, leather cord. We got a couple of jump rings, a lobster clasp, and some crimp ends. So we're going to start off by crimping, starting to crimp one of these ends here. Oh, this one's got a little bit of extra in it, so let's get that out first. There we go. All right, so we're going to squeeze this part partially down. Not too far. There we go. We're going to kind of grab it so that we can pinch it. And we'll grab our leather cord here. We're going to put it in up against that wall. And we're going to pinch it tight. Oh, we got a little bit of overlap. So if you get an overlap, you can use a knife or one of these flush tools. Just kind of snip it off. Being careful to not cut the actual crimp end like I usually do. Just so that it's nice and clean. There we go. That's pretty good. And then we're going to come back through and we're going to crimp this other side off. Just like so. We got our end crimped. And now we got beads. You can put them in any order you want to. It's just kind of how I landed with it. Let's get other pieces off to the side for right now. And we're just gonna alternate these all the way down. So start with one and just keep working our way. I enjoy these though, cause this is a really relaxing activity just kind of sit and string beads and just relax think about the day think about what you're gonna do hopefully today I'll be doing some fishing later we shall see though see what the weather's like it's really early here I'm working early today so it's well before the roosters are making noise continue alternating these um, sometimes you get the ones with the lacquer on them that they stick together you just kind of got to figure out your own way to get them apart that way it just isn't it today what about this here there we go these ones work better apparently We're just going to go row by row. I think with an 8 inch you get about 2 passes through the this set of beads. And this is just, a, these are separated but it's a bag of mixed beads. Sometimes it's the only way you can get the ones you're looking at and you're like, Hey, I like that. That's, I like that type of bead. I want to do something with that. So you gotta buy the bag of them and then you sort them out. Could just probably just take and grab them, whatever one you pick out. I don't know. I was kind of like, you know, show that there's a little bit of purpose to it. We put some thought into it. So I. Went the extra mile and I sorted all these beads out. Totally up to you. Well, I made through two passes, so we're out of a third. Don't think we're gonna make it all the way through another pass, but I could be wrong. See, we're starting to run low on some of these beads, which is good. 
once I run these out, then I can think of another project. I can start making those. And there's no shortage of projects over here. No, 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 there is not. I've been buying stuff left and right. Put together. It's, I've been having a blast to the mess. Making things, putting them together. Everybody's got to have fun doing something, right? Alright, so we're starting to get... We did make it through full passes here. Okay, I've got to clean this end up. Some of these ends come out not real clean, so you just kind of... You can use a X-Acto knife or anything you've got around clean them up real good two I got two for another one just kind of cleaning up the sawdust that didn't come out well this one's gonna need a little bit extra help so we're gonna get the knife out for this one careful when you're doing this so you don't cut your fingers it's the disclaimer the warning you've been told all right so we got a little bit of space at the end but we're good with that we're gonna take and move this off to the side and we're gonna set that down and now we're gonna set up the other crimp end so we're gonna crimp this off here get it started we're gonna get in there get them locked down and we'll lock them down on this other side here So we got the brace apart out. Now jump rings. I said in the glass bead video. If you watch that, if you haven't, um, it'll show up here at the end of this one. You want to grab the jump ring and you want to push or pull. You don't want a twist. If you twist, you're going to wreck the shape of it. And you're not going to be able to get it close properly just can't even get this one on there we go all right so the first one we're going to put the clasp on you kind of wiggle this back and forth and you lock lock it nice and tight and in place so it doesn't come loose and grab our second one here Again, we're pulling towards us, we're not twisting. There it is. Now we just do a little bit of QA, we test it, make sure that the clasp is working properly. Now it looks like we got ourselves a bracelet. Thank you for watching everyone and if you enjoyed this bracelet tutorial or any of my other content please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and leave me a comment. Let me know how your day was, what you thought of the video or other things you'd like me to see. Once again I appreciate your time and be inspired, be inspiring and growl louder. Peace.